In this video, we want to show you how to connect the LHS system proper and the options for controlling. Let's start with the six options to control it. Option 1. With the potentiometer for controlling the power of the heating element. Option 2. With the potentiometer to regulate the temperature of the outlet air. Option 3. We can regulate the power of the heating element, but not with the potentiometer knob. We do it from far away, uh, remote control. Option 4. We control the air of the process external with the external controller from far away. Option 5. We want to use the internal temperature controller, but we want to control it from far away, remote control. Option 6, which is actually no option. Two controller after each other will not work proper. We do not recommend to do it like this. For all these options, you have to configure the LHS with the dip switches. Here you can see a chart about the dip switches. With the first dip switch you can change between Celsius or Fahrenheit. With the second dip switch you can change between potentiometer modus, means manual adjustment, or interface mode, means with remote control. For this you need a signal wire. In this case the potentiometer knob has no function. With the third dip switch you can change between open loop modus or closed loop modus. Option 1 With the potentiometer you regulate the power of the heater, not the temperature directly. The temperature is just a result of it. With the dip switches you have to configure the LHS system. Please turn on the air before you heat. Position 5 means the heater is working with his half power of his full capacity. The temperature is depending on the airflow, which can be blower, hoses, filters, nozzles, and a lot of other factors. An application example, you are able to reach the red potentiometer knob by hand 
and you don't need a very exactly temperature control. Option two. Because of an internal closed loop system, you regulate with the potentiometer knob the outlet temperature directly. With the dip switches, you have to configure the LHS system. Please turn on the air before you heat. You adjust now the set temperature. The LHS system is regulating now by itself. But the maximum temperature is limited because of the airflow. An application example, you are able to reach the LHS system by hand and you need a quite exactly temperature control so you can use our internal controller. Option 3. Now we have two open loop systems. So with the signal, we regulate the power of the heater, not the temperature directly. The temperature is just a result of it. With the dip switches, you have to configure the LHS system. The interface wire replaces now the red potentiometer knob. Please turn on the air before you heat. 50% for the external signal means also 50% for the LHS system. 100% for the external signal means also 100% for the LHS. But the maximum temperature is limited because of the airflow. An application example. You cannot reach the LHS system because the tool is hidden inside of the machine and you don't need a very exactly temperature control. Option 4 
now we regulate the temperature external with the external controller. This external controller works in closed loop. For this, the LHS has to work in open loop. With the dip switches, you have to configure the LHS system. The interface wire replaces now the red potentiometer knob. For an external closed loop we need also an external temperature signal. Please turn on the air before you heat. Change the CSS to closed loop. Now you can set the temperature. The CSS Easy is now doing the controlling and sends the calculated signal directly to the heater. The heater is not doing any calculations. The LHS system works in open loop modus. Now the controller wants to reach this 650 degrees and calculate a 100% signal. But the maximum temperature is limited because of the airflow. An application example you want to have a quite exactly temperature control at your process or you want to use your own PLC. Option 5. The LHS system is doing the temperature regulation internal, but we control it remotely.
with the dip switches you have to configure the LHS system. The interface wire replaces now the red potentiometer knob. Please turn on the air before you heat. With the CSS Easy we are creating a signal. We are doing this by setting the CSS between 0 and 100%. The LHS is receiving the signal as a set temperature. The LHS is now doing the regulation controlling of the temperature. A 100% signal is for the LHS a set temperature of 650 degrees but the maximum temperature is limited because of the airflow an application example you want to use our internal controller for quite exactly temperature control but the tool is hidden inside in a machine and you want to have a remote control from far away. Option 6, which is actually no option. The LHS system is doing the temperature regulation internal and also the external controller is doing an external temperature regulation. So two temperature regulations one after the other are confusing each other. This will not work proper. Please turn on the air before you heat. The CSS Easy is doing the controlling and send out a signal to the LHS. The LHS will do uh, controlling again so we have two controller after each other in this case we will not have a stable temperature control so we do not recommend to do this An application example, mostly by mistaken, you will have two closed loop after each other, which will not work proper.
the Leister CSS Easy and also the CSS both are able to bring out the signal 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamps and also the 24 volt DC for feeding the interface. At the 0 to 10 volt signal, the ground of the signal and the ground from the 24 volt DC are at the same clamp. The grounds at the CSS or CSS Easy are connected internal already. That's why only one ground wire has to be connected to the LHS. Make sure the other wire is insulated. For each size of LHS, the clamp looks a little bit different. For 0 to 10 volt and the CSS or CSS Easy, we have to bring only one ground wire to the LHS. The thermocouple for almost all types are connected between port 1 and 2. For to hook up the different types of LHS, please have a look at the user manual. Fuses for safety. Switch on and off with an opener and closer. With a contactor. Here you can see how to connect the main power line.
make sure the cable gland is sealed for the correct airflow. Now we connect the control power line, including the opener and closer and the alarm contact of the LHS. Before you switch on the tool, please close the cover of the LHS and connect the airflow at the heater.